Hey, Johnny Walker here. Still for a walk down the beach after dinner. The ferry just came in, as you can see, these waves rolling there from the ferry wave. Cold water. Rain in a little bit. I just wanted to talk about. Um, all the driftwood, you know, we've had all these storms here, and look at all this driftwood, man. There's so much of it. it goes on and on down the whole beach here. Some are stamped, like they've been uh, lost from the uh, from the um, uh, bundles that are going to the mill. Sometimes in the storm, a few of the bundles will break away and and uh, float up on the beach. So I don't know really what the legality of it is, but there's more than enough down here. Like, look at all these nice uniform ones right here. Just perfect for kind of a rustic log cabin, eh? You know, and I think you're allowed to like take so much driftwood, but I don't know if you're allowed to come down here and start collecting logs with a little high ab truck. Or or a self-loader to build yourself your own log cabin, which would be cool. I'd love to do that. Look at it all. So much of it. Yellow cedar, red cedar, fir, pine, some alder, some uh, arbutus. This is the way it's, eh? From the ferry, the ferry from Vancouver to Nanaimo. Vancouver to Departure Bay. Departure Bay to Departure Bay. Look at this great big, huge big old fur yeah, massive here sit on it look at me sitting on it oh, just massive that right there I could mill up and probably frame up a good size shed you know, and look at behind the other ones you get so much of much of it I'm just I'm just wondering about that I'm gonna check it out through the government exactly what's allowed you know like it's nice to have here for people to sit on when it's nice out and whatnot or in the summer um, you know when it's swimming season and whatnot but there's such an accumulation of it this is just one beach right one little beach in an island and there's thousands of beaches around this island and this coast what do you think about that, eh? Poor people that have problems getting any wood to build a house. Here, there's so much of it. You just got to be a bit... Uh, what do you call that? A genius? No. Uh, innovative? I don't know. I don't know. Just smart. Do it. So, yeah. I just want to show you that. There's so much of it, eh? Look, it just goes on and on and on. I wanted to say that our uh, congratulations to Tin Man. Tin Man today, he got uh, I forget how many subs, but a lot. Way to go, Tin Man! And I got Tin Man uh, a Christmas gift. I'm sending him. He doesn't know what it is, but you'll see. It's a surprise, like Christmas should be. So, uh, and um, we're gonna do a little video tomorrow morning on that 850 Mac. My dad's one of my dad's old racing saws from Logger Sports. I'm gonna start stripping it apart but I'm not going to strip it right apart until me and Buck can, uh, can uh, look at it and measure it. So yeah I mean, I'm not going to do that. Got enough stuff to Tin Man. I also want to say uh, hi to Steve Small Engine Salute. Check his his site out. He's uh, got some great stuff. Uh, very informative. Uh, yeah good stuff. And check out Dino Joe too. I'm plugging everyone tonight. I don't know why but why not. I'm home alone tonight. Made some homemade pizza. Well, my daughter invited me for dinner, but I was already home and ready to do my own thing, which was nice. Thank you, Taylor. That was really appreciated. So, uh, yeah, next thing is to, you know, plan our Christmas stuff. We're not having a Christmas party for the company this year. Uh, Johnny gave us a nice bonus. Thank you very much, Johnny. And, uh, but I got my um, Tom and Judy coming from Salt Spring, Shelly's mom and dad. And uh, 
we'll have a nice Christmas dinner at our place and Boxing Day. And I uh, haven't asked my mother yet, but I'm gonna try to get her over to my house. We're all gonna have a little, little brunch or something. Hear that, mother? I know you'll see us. Anyways, it's her 75th birthday. Special. She's 20 years older than me. Gonna be. Gonna be. That's right. She'll be 20 years older than me on Boxing Day. Anyways, that makes me feel old and her old too. So sorry about that, mother. Love you, mom and dad. So yeah, it's actually starting to. Uh, Feel that some flakes coming down. It's starting to snow again. We had about a about an inch of snow here yesterday. So yes, it does snow in Canada. It's funny. All the years I've uh, known a lot of people in the U.S. and around the world after uh, racing go karts around the world, and logger sports, meeting people all from all over the place. Um, It's kind of nice to say that because they all thought, wow, you live up in Canada. What are you living in, Igloo? I don't live in an Igloo. We get better weather here than most of Washington State and part of Oregon. Uh, Vancouver Island, some people call it Fantasy Island. But it's pretty nice, man. Sure, we get a lot of rain, and that rain dampness is cold where it would feel like it was 20 below, like in Alberta or something, or in the, in the uh, central area of North America. But overall, we get pretty good weather here, you know. Sure, we had these destruction floods and heat this year, but normally it's pretty good. So, can't complain, eh? Yeah, so tomorrow morning, I'm going to do that uh, 850 McCullough teardown. I'm going to show you how I tear it down. I'm going to show you this old racing saw. It's been sitting in my dad's garage for years. And uh, I'm not sure who was running that one. Maybe Wade Stewart. There was a, so I seen his name on something. Wade Stewart was one of the fastest uh, tree climbers in the world. He actually uh, climbed a pole in New York City downtown on the Dave Letterman show years ago check it out see if you can find it on google but he's a, uh, a friend of mine from logger sports him and his dad and uh, i believe he lives in the u.s now he married a gal i think down in california but anyways don't need to talk about him but i'm uh, just saying check him out though world's fastest climber ever um so yeah keep the saw in the wood check out the walker saw shop online store get a snowblower we're gonna need it tomorrow i think I got my little one in the back of the truck still. I guess I need to help some old folks out or something if they can't get out of the driveway. Or, or young folk. Whoever. Okay, keep it on one. Have a great night. Bonnie Walker, over.